During this Breast Cancer Awareness Month, a new report from the American Cancer Society shows that a lesser known type of breast cancer is actually on the rise in women in the United States. Bradley Blackburn has more on the risks in today's Health Watch. Patty Schoen's routine mammogram in February detected an early stage breast cancer. It's a pretty horrific diagnosis, as you could only imagine. Um, I'm 63 years old. I have no cancer in my family at all. Because she has dense breast tissue, doctors recommended an MRI, which picked up a second cancer, invasive lobular carcinoma, which originates in the milk producing glands. What has God blessed me with? He saved my life. He allowed me to have ductal carcinoma in situ, stage zero in the left breast, so our surgeons could detect the more severe invasive cancer of the right. An American Cancer Society report shows lobular breast cancer is on the rise. While breast cancer has been increasing 1% for all types, it's closer to 3% for lobular. Sometimes it's hard to find and even then can be a little difficult to treat. Dr. Arif Kamal says lobular breast cancer is often diagnosed at more advanced stages because it can be harder to detect on a mammogram. The cancer cells grow in a line rather than in a lump. More research is needed on why these cancers are increasing. It's really important that women not only get mammograms every year so that if it is missed that we'll find it in the subsequent years, but also to pay attention to their bodies. Oftentimes in ductal carcinoma, the other type of breast cancer will find lumps or bumps. In lobular cancer, we're looking more for skin changes, a thickness or asymmetry. Patty had a bilateral mastectomy, reconstruction, and finished 16 treatments of radiation in July. I thank God for that every day that I get up and I have another day that I can take advantage of to spend time with my family and my grandkids and, and make memories. And she wants other women to be aware about this other form of breast cancer. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News.